Metro Detroit to join the nation in honoring our military heroes on this Veterans Day. People gathered for ceremonies, both large and small. Many were like this one at Resurrection Cemetery in Clinton Township, a solemn tradition to thank those who served and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Veterans, their families and public officials gathered at the cemetery's uh, memor Veterans Memorial. Congressman Andy Levin says the nation must do more to help those who put their lives on the line for our freedom, especially now. In the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic, this work is more important than ever with so many vets facing economic hardships, increased health risks, and isolation from the community. Levin noted that his 9th district is home to 37,000 military veterans. And now let's head to the tribute in Canton. Tonight, the community hosted its annual Salute to Service event at the Village Theater at Cherry Hill. It featured speakers from the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund and the VA Ann Arbor VA Health System. It was accepting donations of food, clothing, and other items to benefit veterans throughout the event. The Great Lakes National Cemetery in Holly Township also hosted a tribute to all who have served. The speakers included Michigan Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, who lives in Holly and is a veteran herself. The cemetery is one of just two national shrines in the state. Also on WXYZ.com, we have a special section dedicated to veterans. It is called You Are Not Alone. It features stories about veterans and resources, including contact information for the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency, the VA office in Detroit, and VFW posts in Michigan. 